what's behind them. Yeah, this is a very weird round, and Yugi is going to discover it all too soon, and he actually only spots one man there on the peak. So the fact that there's three, that is info that's going to go amiss to Astralis. And now Hunter and Kenny wow. closing the distance, closing the gap. And it is just Device and Dupree left. They're saving. They're running away. <laughs> Honestly, I kind of like this yeah. decision. The bomb's not planted Great. for them. They still get money. They didn't take any damage. And so they get a $350 investment onto the uh, a bomb site. Smoke out from G2, but Device can watch this and make sure no one pushes through. He's got to go through the Monotov and from the fire into his own death. Next is on the site. G2 are stacked up here with three out of four of their players. Good damage done by Astralis, but it gets returned. Zip runs out of ammo after that kill. Nexa drops Yugi in the smoke, and now it's up to Zip and Majisk, who has no armor. This is a mess. This is such a weird round again. Majisk here with this scout could stand to do a lot. It next one bullet, all that's required, but it's the same on to him. Down to the 1v1. Nexa with 4 HP. Imagine oh, his shot. Oh dear, this is an awkward one. Wow. Magisk is going to connect it and it'll take the round for Astralis. Great work from uh, Astralis to actually find that force out long and that's pushed G2 in a bio their own in round number three. Deleted is Amanek through the door by device. That's so quick play here that's what things are looking like scout drops the smoke arrives and kenny is pushed back it's up to hunter who can't get it done and now the b site is just open ah, that sucks for kenny oh he does see a foot but he wasn't able to get the shot off and even then to make matters worse dupree is looking to deny him this scout save actually it's a flawless round for astralis and I cannot wait to see the head-to-head -head between these two. Careful with the desk hitting, Harry. I know you're excited, but I think that's what caused him to switch off. So you've got to be very uh, movement uh, lacking, I guess. And that's something that, well, Amanek has figured out to perfection. He's hiding in the smoke. He's standing still. He's standing tall, but not for long. Magis will spam it. It felt too good to be true. And if it is, well, it usually is. 3-1, and Astralis looked to lock in a fourth here with a B-bomb plant. Device has been caught lower, which is a bit of a problem. That's an orb gifted. Nexa could just straight up save that, and that will be the game plan for G2. Already losing B with a man down. They don't want to consider retaking it. G2, same story on A. Even when they do something that gets you a little bit worried, they still win the round. And here they go, up through Cat, Magisk opening up, and Hunter will up nice. the back, but it's quickly dealt wow. with, quickly traded. And Astralis are really exerting this pressure at the A side of the map. I don't know how Zipnix wins that fight. That didn't look like a fight he should have won ever, but he has. And this leaves Nexa and Amanek in a two on four. Because Astralis has done a great job at just forcing G2's hand every time and guaranteeing the round off the first couple of kills. Saves attempted here, Nexa, good luck. He's out of ammo and they're just gonna keep shooting. They have more bullets than him, two players. I can leave you stuck in CT, having to take those horrible headshot angle fights to the site. Instead, it is mid, and Amanex here. The smoke blooms late, and so he gets a free kill. This bomb has been lost. Device needs cover. Next is trying to push, and Amanex goes through the smoke. Trades are good for Dupree, though. He keeps Astralis in this round, but Kenny has come from the back line with Jax alongside him. They don't know Device is here, although Kenny's going to try and chase him down. Oh, no, Yugi's dead. How is he dead? Device trades, but he's so low, he needs to escape, and he still hasn't got control of the bomb. Not going to go through that. Device closing the distance into B, but surely he's not ready for this oh. position, and he's not. Hunter going to blindside him. Be early, and so essentially one of those B players is your mid player. Uh, Astralis could have taken that round off of the B pitter kills, but instead they will give it to G2, and now this game gets a little bit more competitive. Nice fast pick from Device out long, but it is traded. Kenny in the middle, dropping the disc of Cat. Dupree's through a smoke, and that is a <laughs> risky. No reward in this sense. The Vice has gotten the kill through the door, but he's lost tip in the process. This is so brawly right now. Like, this hack through the smoke, Yugi's just committing on his own. The Vice cut off by the utility. Kenny going above the box. The Molotov coming. He thinks they're in the tunnels. Does he know that Yugi's already out? The Molly's pushed him open. Yugi's missed a shot, and Kenny does get traded. The Vice with a chance to clutch. He's spraying. Now I'm trying to plant this bomb and they don't let him. They don't yeah. let him get the plant. They rush him down, but they haven't found the kill. And Device, oh, no. oh, there's one. Oh, oh. follow-up, Device. What an ace. What a round. They are presenting themselves 
Oh dear, lost no damage through this focus. Only one smoke down, big gap, and they're gonna flash through it as well. Amanek, no fear. Another eco win, perhaps. Device has got to stop it all again. It's deja vu. This is the exact same situation as the eco that G2 last one. Device that it dinked, dead eventually. Yugi trades, but now he's in a clutch. Uh, Yugi, if there ever was a time to show you got the goods, my friend, it is now. 1v2. Now with a bomb planted, it's deja vu. It's this round all over again, but this time it's Yugi waiting patiently. He's held onto tunnels all round. Both players for G2 coming through the doors. And Yugi lets the first man cross, Ooh. not able to flick in time. It's Amanek nice. with four kills. Kenny. His time to shine now. That's the pre found. They're pressuring him, but Kenny's not moving. With this follow up onto Magis, he's now relying that Amanek uh. is going to be able to hold down the tunnels. Don't be confused. That was Hunter dropping device down in mid, not Amanek here through the smoke. Don't worry, guys. It's actually going to get mopped up by Kenny. This is a nice recovery here from G2. This round, it's Zipnix and Device finding the openers, but Nexa trying to take Ooh. matters into his own hands, and with a stellar spray helped out by Jack, they've held on to long. It's Device once again in a clutch situation here. It was a 1v2, he's got it down to a 1v1. Jack's on the other side, and Device donning the M4, not wasting time with the AWP. Gets a little overzealous there, Jack swings out wide, takes the... Considering they don't have their in-game leader in play. Right now, G2 are in full control of this last round of the half. A man up, device tagged, and a man stuck at Gandalf. Could work in Dupree's favor, though. He's kind of timing. Getting it checked, though. Hunter, oh, it's a messy one. Looked like it was on for Dupree, but not connecting. Hunter now going wide with a couple more before he his demise. Device is dead, two through the smoke, and G2 will win the half. And Kenny, both floating around down in the lower tunnels, to me, doesn't scream that this is a commitment. And no, it's not. Jax Ooh. tries to hop down into CT. And he does get down, but it's only his corpse, Dupree. On with four. This is the ace on the cards for Dupree and the pistol. My goodness, he has laid waste to G2. Next set is the only man remaining. And Yugi, of course, going to snatch the ace away. Right, with two more. And no one's looking at Catwalk, funnily enough. They've got to change that one as Jax goes flying through the smoke only temporarily. He's made quick work of device scoped. And a Molotov coming as a player on locks. Apex has got him as well. This MP9 is doing everything and more for Astralis. Finally overwhelmed, but device has not been cleaned out of the site. And even though he's low, they don't have a grenade to get rid of him. Might not even play into the round. Yui's in spawn. And here they come. Device missed shot. No second opportunity. Nexa gets the kill. And now the bomb plant's been allowed. G2 have some way been given away into this round. Oh, Nexa. Oh. Jump scouted by Yugi. Amanek wow. falls as well. And Astralis, they regain control of that round. Well, this can serve Ooh, as no. a reminder that they've got the goods in the server uh, as well. A device running on out of mid, helped out by Dupree. The rotation is perfectly timed on his behalf. He's still holding down middle and does get overwhelmed there by the MAC-10s. This leaves Yugi in a bit of an awkward spot. He's going to try and hold down this B-Site solo, and he has dropped the bomb. He's actually removed two. Hunter with a flank down from the catwalk, though. He's made this round possible. He's put them in a doable situation. Yeah, you can see Zip just runs away from that fight immediately, though. He wants to play with Yugi. They have Util and the bomb on B. It's dropped. So Zipex checking lower is given a timing where G2 can isolate Yugi in the site, but they don't know where he's playing from. They've cleared out a lot of these positions. Yugi doesn't know they're inside A or B either, but he's going to flick back round. Does a dink. Nothing more. The AWP posted will fall off. Zip can kill it with a nade. That's a massive grenade. And Kenny does survive. Another Molotov available as well. Kenny holding down the site and Hunter running for his life. Zip has a one-on-one -on -one and he's not going to take it. Kenny fast. Kenny is the bomb and almost Ooh. goes down. Amanek could win this whole round. And yeah, they're not ready for him. He gets the kill at B. Wow. He turns around, follows up onto Dupree and he's carved a path back into this round for G2. Amanek's already moved into the tunnels. He's already here to help out. And it's another kill for That's Amanek real. in this round. He's put them into a two on two with just a Mac-10. Magisk and Device. Oh, well now, just device. Amanek is on for the ace in a round where it was him and Kenny for G2. Amanek, the savior, the Mac Daddy. And come on, get the ace. There it is. He'll get it. Five kills to his name.
Well, Amanek fast flashed out at long, and there was meant to be a bit of a response here. The counter flashes are in. Magisk is going to try and get across into the pit, but he doesn't survive the crossing. Nice. There's the follow-up nade from Zipex, and that's going to keep things even. Now, the rest of G2, they're looking to hit B. They're looking to go in, and Yugi has to make a stand. He's doubled up, and that's enough for G2 to reconsider. They leave the tunnels. They slow it down. Now they're no longer looking to commit. Dupree continuing to spam them down. I think maybe we stop standing on the other side of the smoke, G2. Yet to get a kill in this round is a bit of an unknown entity being in this corner. Yugi swinging out, does best Kenny, and nice. able to assist with the follow up onto Nexus. Close angle, and Ooh. actually, it's not a cat play from G2, yeah. it's an El Clasico CT drop. They do this a lot, and this time Dupree is not able to get ahead of it. Yugi now, first time we've seen him with this secondary orb, but he's going to come to life with the first. The next deals with Kenny down in mid, and they're already in the sight. Yugi caught trying to snipe players at the crossing in middle, but well, they've already gotten in through the window. And so this B site has fallen. It's just going to be the save here for Astralis, holding onto the double orbs. You know, divided the attention of the guys in mid, sure. but in that round there, because he's holding it down alone, Everyone's here right now. Magisk is looking to push it, and he's ahead of the flashbang as well. Good shot. Magisk gets one. That's worth it. The trade is in. Device is posted with the AWP, and Zip is on long as well. G2 already getting flanked. Last time Dupree did this, he pushed too long, and he went long. This time he needs to come in on that cat flank if he wants to win the round. Oh, and he's caught a good timing there. Dupree coming in, and Device now repositioning. He's given a bit of breathing room as a result of them having to turn around and deal with his teammate on cat. And Astralis, they do get a handle back on that round. Uh, to distract them. Either way, G2 are moving fast off the back of it. And uh, Astralis have no idea how close they are. Dupree needs to be careful. Jax is shot. Dupree knows he turns, but he's too late. His smoke in his hand and a bullet in his face. It's a double entry into B. That's the round done. Astralis won't even consider it. They won't even think about it. It's already moved past it. Yeah, G2 are even hunting. And I absolutely love this decision to hunt. If they even take one weapon away, that is huge. And if Device falls with the orb, that would be even bigger. But... Astralis over-rotate as well as use a lot of util. Now it's a fast cat. Uh, Magisk has stopped the first man in. Gonna re -peak for more. Catches Hunter with grenades out. Astralis, two men up in this round. G2 not giving up though. They're on the T side. Any round is winnable, even in this position. It's not as clean cut as, as being locked out by a post plant. G2, well, they're locked out anyway. Post one or not, the kills are coming through. Next, it gets one walking through the smoke. Oh, the spray is whiffed, and yeah, he's not going to get a third chance of that one. Zip does clean it up. Keep out into middle with the flashes. Device still posted up here, but Kenny will remove him from this round, from round 29. A key man taken out of it. And now Astralis, three on four. Have to try and do the impossible to keep this one alive. Yeah, and it really does feel impossible with Astralis pulling away from A at the worst moment, right? The Zippy's trying to regain lost ground, but that Molly is going to signal his position, and Amanek will just rid him of the round. Smoke on the Molly. Desperate times now for Astralis. It's Magisk and Yugi in a two on four for the map. Molly's again do more and more damage. And it's not the damage that's the problem, it's the information that G2 get from it. They know there's a player in CT, they know where both of these Astralis members are. Yugi, good shot, but it's quickly traded, and it might not be enough for Magisk to clutch this round, he jumps, he dies, G2 take it. Device is walking through a main smoke, Nexus on the other side, and in the wrong way, he's gone outside, he's got a swap. He's got to go back in, Device getting hounded, Nexus in the back line does get traded by Magisk, who is a second through that smoke, but in the midst of the madness, it's G2 finding every kill, Magisk does get one, Dupree's drop B with the bomb, and Magisk is on a tear, finally put to rest, and Dupree will plant, but there's a player hunting him down, Amanek is not waiting around, and maybe he should have, Dupree with a chance to kill him, but no, the back line has Jax, and he is quick to the B-bomb site, G2 find the pistol round. This could actually get a little bit risky now, they lose any info outside, Kenny's not even oh. considering this rap. And that's Kenny removed. The ramp now belongs to Astralis. And this rotation from Amanek out of heaven couldn't have come at a worse time. Jax didn't even really seem like he knew where he should be looking there. As he's got a lot of angles to bear in mind. This B-site belongs to Astralis and in a very big way. Hunter and Amanek on for the retake, but they're two on four. Their backs are against the wall and a bomb is now down for Astralis as well. Yeah, they just run down the vent and, and do at least kill Majisk and get guns, but... Past that point, they can't stop the plant, and Astralis is holding on. 
two secret. Amanek, well, he doesn't survive the round, and Dupree will find three in it. So these P2Ks, but yeah, Astralis are ready for this. They are waiting in the wings. The Vice flashed out, has to shoot, but can't control. He doesn't know where they are. He doesn't know where he is. The pistols have somehow found a couple of kills, but Zip with a spray to save the day. Three from him. Dupree dinked, and so is Kenny. Tagged down to 20. This is a mess. Dupree's going to get it out of there with a bomb. He'll have to go back towards spawn. Luckily, there's no issue with time right here under Amanek's nose. But Amanek is playing this in a good spot as well. I don't know if Dupree is going to swing wide enough to check this, oh. and he's not going to. So the bomb is now dropped. Magisk is coming in on a lobby wrap. And Amanek waiting. Oh, this is the grossest position ever. No one ever checks it. No one's ever ready. In the same vein, so... Astralis lose some money, and they will have a reinvestment. The Vice's orb gone immediately. Kenny is quick. He's not even looking at them, and he's still firing off kills. Four for Kenny. Blinking, you miss it. This round is done. Astralis, oh my. They're made to look like fools by Kenny S. And G2 just a kill away from the fourth round. There it is. It's the ace for Kenny with the AWP as well. He picks it up. This is an interesting little layout from G2, but they are more than ready for this heaven split. They are so primed, so ready to go. And Amanek takes matters into his own hands. My goodness, the double CT bench stack of him and Hunter. Knew the lobby was clear. It's the only way they could have afforded to run that. Otherwise, a Molly could have killed both CT players. Kenny, come on, man. That's a smoke. You can't see through smokes. You don't know they're there. Stop shooting them. Leave them alone. Well, Yugi up on top of red. It's just him and Zipnix left. And there are players everywhere, including a double stack pushing up through secret that no one is ready for. Gonna be anything on device to go toe to toe with Kenny without here outside, rather. Let's see Hunter running the gauntlet, picks up the wow. pace, and that is a huge kill to find. Man advantage taken. G2, they're looking so confident right now. What we often see though is a team can start like this. Oh, oh no. that's a bit Does of a shame. He got team damaged. Amanek shot him coming through the smoke and next they got all confused. Amanek now, you've got to make up for that. You've got to have a hold. You've got to do right by your team. And that's exactly what he's doing. He's delivering. Does put up two, but it might not be enough. It's all on Jax now and he's removed Magisk. They know that Zipex was last seen inside of this A bomb site. And so he is going to get the bomb planted. It's down to a 1v1. Jax versus Zipex. And Zipex so often a man that we can rely on in these clutches. And that continues to hold true for Astralis. A third on the board. Got a rotation and Jax is in the lower secret as well. This is a heavy setup for G2. A crossfire, in fact, to Jax. He has made them cross indeed. Hunter with another. Next on the flank. Three on two. Back up vent they go. Astralis want the A site and it is open for the taking. Flash goes in, that's going to telegraph that this is where they're looking to take. Dupree has this crossfire set up. Man Ooh, does get up sorry. through the vents. That's Amanek, and he didn't spot Dupree back in the lobby. Zipex removing one, now falls back into the hut. This bomb planted, so that they have to swing wide. They have to go into the site, and the Molly's coming late. G2, they just stick the bomb. They win the round on the back of it, and even though Dupree gets all the kills, and a map down in the series as well. Dust 2, not a huge surprise to see G2 win it, right? Like. But Nuke, I mean, this is a whole different ball game right now. Good timing for Astralis to catch Jax with a nade out. He has to drop with a Molotov. Kenny giving room to peek, and he does fight with the orb, dropping one. Amanek trades for a single kill, and Jax comes back up from the ramp. He's only here temporarily because it's a lobby fight that will get it all done. Hunter's mollied off the bomb, and now Jax can continue to wreak havoc, and G2 are just bringing aggression everywhere Astralis try and fight. G2 have three different crossfires. This has been such an excellent CT side, and Astralis have not had answers. Majisk, one or three, got to do it all here. He doesn't even begin to know the whereabouts of G2. They're just going to peek him from the ramp and clean it up. A, Glaive's continued absence, and also, you know, they're moving into like a seven-man roster project, right? Now Astralis are playing on the same field as everyone else, right? Without like an auto AI generated in-game leader that just tells you where the enemies are <laughs> playing. Yeah. Glaive's like, go B. Okay, B's clear. But no, yeah, it's kind of it's kind of mad. No, man, and it's great as well because I think this three month period is really going to show people just how important having a, a like a, a good IGL and having like a refreshed IGL in particular uh, can Ooh. be for a team. Now that's a nice lineup for Yugi. He's really done a lot of work in this round. Kind of just talking over it because this should be a fourth on the board for Astralis with the kills going down the way they did. 
yeah, I, I think him coming back to the roster is such an exciting talking point. And obviously the questions of, well, where, do Yugi, where does Yugi go after that? Does he stay? Does someone buy him out? Is he going to prove himself in these three months? So many questions for Astralis. But let's get back to the game. It's a four on three at the end of the half. And Kenny, he wants to close it with 11. He might just be able to do so. This bomb is all that remains in the back of Yugi. He's walking into Kenny S. And Kenny doesn't miss. 11 rounds. There, leaning in favor of the G2 squad even more so, and I think justifiably yep. so, perhaps yep. unsurprisingly so. And it's a B Rab play to kick it off. Clip makes some magic. Oh, <laughs> get out! Get out of Rab G2! Astralis, they get it done in a matter of moments. Magis with three, Device with a double. And so that's why G2 won this top site, I can assume, right? The smoke nade combo that, that went down in the stairs area. It's not going to be the same now, though. Astralis to come back into this top site. That's a good effect. Double kill from Dupree. Make it a third and a four. Just shut them all down, Dupree. Whatever. Forget counting. Device primed, ready, raring to go. But I say that, and then obviously he gets 1D. Ooh, match is going to fall into place, though. Continues to lay down the pain outside. And actually, as I say that, though, he does die immediately again. Crazy stuff. They don't know how close they got either, but they will get a bomb plant on this B site. Zipex looks to burn the player out from uh, the position, and he will do so, getting the kill on Nexa. No cover for G2, and I'm surprised at that. I feel like Amanek definitely could have tried to help his teammate out there. Instead, it's Jackson lower. Oh, little D from him. Amanek follows up. He's killed that ramp player. Yugi in a clutch that has to be fast. He sees the legs, but it's the head that gets removed. Jax has looked incredible. Not like this is anything close to elimination for either of these teams. At least not for Astralis. G2, this kind of is a must win. And with North already out of the picture, G2 want to get as high as they can inside of this group. Kenny opening up into the door. Ooh, Yugi's got a tap and he's finished off the jump on Nexus, started by Device, but I mean, this round is coming to a close already unless someone could do something incredible, Device. Trying to stop Kenny. Hunter's going to go through the hut, though, as he fires his shot. And Zip is very loud on the ladder. That's no surprise. Hunter with a double. And G2 with 14. Early on. Some outside presence, but the bulk of G2 here in lobby. Wow. They hold for the push. And Kenny, primed and ready to go. He's pretty much already done enough in this round. And that's scary. You try and lobby crunch. You try and hit the... Where it hurts the most. And okay, well, all right, Magisk. You know what? I was trying to do this whole doom and gloom angle, but actually he might have just saved the day. Yugi coming in with another. And now we're into this two on two. Magisk has oh. salvaged this round and Device with five points of health finding that kill. And both of these players, nothing more than question marks. They knew where they were earlier, but that has changed since. And Amanek does manage to deal with the first device five points of health to try and keep the dream alive for astralis oh, no. he could wall bang him needs to land but one bullet now, might elect to not even have to give that a go he drops the smoke on the bomb device is trying to play a little one way and oh, oh just about device so close but not close enough it's amanek uh, one final sh uh, shot one final chance for astralis here Magis has at least found one, but it's a double opener towards BG2. Oh, going to go back up the vent towards A. I love this. They do it all the time. What a great call. They know Astralis are double stacked. They've seen Magis can be, and Zip was there as well, although they weren't aware. A two on four to retake against match point. G2 about to 2 0 Astralis, even dominantly on Astralis' map pick as well, right? To think the Dust 2 was 13 rounds for Astralis, all for this to happen. Jax, a kill away. Magis. Might give it to them. Nice shot on the scout, but a one-on-four is not going to accomplish. Jax will close it out.